Good evening guys, it is December the 18th, Friday December the 18th, uh, it is almost 8 o'clock at night and I've only just managed to get out here, <laughs> we've had a real busy day today, so uh, yeah, and we're having a, a little bit of a different angle today as well, you're coming at me from the other side, <laughs> so uh, yes, um, in the sack there is... Um, just a, a container of baubles um, they don't have they're like tiny baubles um, they don't have the strings on them they're just like you know the little hooks that you put the string through so um, I was gonna put them on that little tree which I thought would be quite good to hang some baubles on it make it look a bit more Christmassy um, but we're gonna have to wait to do that because uh, I don't have the strings so I'm going to see what I can find. I think I've got some thread in the bungalow somewhere. Um, so in place of that, I've had to bring something out um, that we weren't using inside. There's a few things inside. Um, I've got some cushions, some festive cushions that have been in Nina oh, loads of times for years. So I'll see if I can find those as well. Um, but yeah, we've only got... Uh, we're going up to Christmas Eve four, five, six days. Yeah, six days left. So um, I've only got to find six more things. So <laughs> we're getting there, I'll do it, don't worry. So today, when, do you remember me telling you that we were, um, oh, I hid it down there. <laughs> do you remember me telling you that we um, cleared our loft out and everything recently and I was I was busy because of that? Uh, well, in the loft, we, we had this little um, light, mains powered light and uh i've the the bulb didn't work anymore and it's not something we probably use anymore just plugged into the because it was a normal bulb it wasn't led or anything um but the actual thing it was in was quite good so uh so i took it all to bits got rid of all the mains powered stuff and um wired some battery lights into it so uh so it can be used on battery so this is what i found in the loft here we go Here's a festive penguin, and uh, yeah, that had a proper um, mains powered light in there, so you can see on the back there's kind of a um, clamp that the mains mains lead went in. Well, I've got the battery pack going in there now, so uh, so when I light him up, here we go. Yeah, I quite like that. The lights work well, and uh, in there. Um, I don't know where to put him. I've, I don't know if you can. No, you can't quite see above me. The tin Christmas tree I've actually hung on one of the uh, pins that the stockings were on. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed. I, I can't remember if I've aimed the camera up that far, but all the stockings are gone now. Uh, Santa Claus has delivered them to their the um, good little children <laughs> that were that were supposed to be having them. So. So they've all got them now. Um, yeah, so the tin tin thing's up there and it's probably going to fall on my head because it's just like on a pin. So uh, hopefully it won't. Uh, um, yes, yeah, so we've got Penguin. I'm not sure what we're going to do with him. So I might put him back over there on the sink um, where the tin Christmas tree was. So uh, yeah, I think we'll do that. But it's just another light. So should we count up the lights we've, uh, we've added in here? So we've got one string of fairy lights, two strings of fairy lights, um, the little glass jars down here with Santa, the tree, the diorama, uh, the dancing Christmas tree, we call that a light because it does light up, and now the penguin. Did I say them? Oh, I'll start again. <laughs> it's too late. One set of fairy lights, two set of fairy lights, the tree, the diorama, penguin, the other tree. <sighs> I've lost count again. I'd... <laughs> I'm not forgetting the lights at the back as well. I actually haven't put those on. Hang on. This is, oh, this is going so wrong. So let's put those on as well. I have to have those on as well. Let's turn this one down. Let's get a bit of ambience in here. There we go. So you can still see me. Um, right, 
we'll start again. So I'm going to start from the. I'm going to start with the the <laughs> string lights. One, two. The ones at the back. I've done no trees yet. <laughs> That's what's confusing me. The ones at the back. The tree up there. The diorama there. The tree that dances, the six. Okay. The lights in the window there, seven. The tree up there, eight. And the penguin, nine. Yes, we've got nine. Whew, nine, nine sets of lights in here. Um, don't think he'd fit up there, actually. No, I'll, I'll put him on the, on the sink in a minute. Um, yeah, that's it. Nine sets of lights so far. There could be more coming, I don't know. I'm going to put him up on the sink. And uh, I'm just going to bring you in a bit closer in a minute. So I'm going to, oops. The light switched himself off. I'm just going to zoom you in a little bit. Uh, maybe aim you down slightly. There we go. No, you're not seeing the top of my head. That's no good, is it? <laughs> oh dear. Definitely need to come out earlier tomorrow, Saturday tomorrow, so we should get to that. My calendar, calendar looks good, and my car looks good, and my frosted screwdriver looks good. <laughs> um, right, yeah, so I don't know if all of you have seen Christmas Vacation. If you haven't, then it's disgusting, to be fair. Um, Christmas Vacation is one of my favourite Christmas films, uh, obviously with Chevy Chase. And if I put a picture up now of Chevy Chase... Now that hat he's wearing, I want one. <laughs> I uh, I can't find one anywhere. There was one on Etsy, but it, it sold quite quickly and it was quite expensive as well. So the um, Christmas hat I've got is one of these kind of cheapy ones. And it's alright, it's better than most. Um, but I want one like Chevy Chase's. So, uh, so what I've decided to do is make my own. So um, I've... <laughs> I've bought the materials to make a Chevy Chase hat, just like the one you just saw. Um, the bells, you can see bells on the hat. Um, they are coming tomorrow. I've got some 25 mil silver bells, like cat bells, you know, like the bells they have on their collars, but bigger. Um, I think he has three down the hat, so he's got kind of there, and it sort of comes down onto his shoulder with the big ball ball. And um, yeah, this, this one doesn't. This barely moves off the top of my head if I put it on. I'll show you. There we go. So that, that kind of... Got my glasses on. I can see that, yeah. That just goes there. It needs to go down here. And this just needs to look bigger and plusher. So, um, so I've gone and bought some materials. I bought the fur the other day. Um, that came from Amazon, I think. So uh, I've got some real plush looking fur. Uh, there we go. I'm hoping this is enough. It should be. Oh yeah, it should be. So uh, yeah, <laughs> great big sheet of that. But it's quite quite long pile, so it's going to look quite luxurious. Now, um, thank you, Barbo, for um, sending me the video telling me how to actually do. <laughs> actually do this um i was just going to stick this on to the or sew this on to the um the material um but barbell has told me to double it so that it's, it's more rigid and um then it'd be sort of more plush around around the the hat so uh, i'm just hoping that there's enough there to do two because i've got to make gem one as well so it looks like there could be so i've got, I've got a big long long um section of that which should be good so uh so that's quite nice so that's uh that's really nice and plush that is really nice and then i went to uh, my friend cass um who's also into craft craft work and put me in touch with um a local company that um sold this velvet now it's it's not your typical bright red um velvet that you see on all like the modern is it's more of a traditional like a ruby red 
um, which I think will look quite nice and it's, it's really nice decent stuff and Nina's getting blown around with the wind it's, it's absolutely blowing a gale out there and it has been most of the day um, yeah so uh, I just felt the van rocking like that and everything's like moving from side to side either that or I've got poltergeist so <laughs> think it's the wind so uh, yeah so if you just imagine a hat like that that's gonna look so nice um, so hopefully by the end of the weekend I will have a Chevy Chase hat well both I and Jenny will so um, yeah it's, it's gonna look nice and it's hopefully gonna be a hat we're gonna have for years and years and years so um, I will show you that if if it all works out and if it doesn't go horribly wrong like everything's going wrong tonight then I will um, wear that Christmas Eve when we're uh, reading out the all your experiences um, yeah it'd be a good Christmas Christmas Eve video with a nice hat so uh, yes right I will put this away somewhere dry so it doesn't get messed up and uh, we're open. We've done a decoration. Yeah, we've done that. Check. I've told you about the the hat. Check. And yeah, we've just got to open a, a door on there now and build. So uh, I'm just going to put these away in a minute. Um, anything else to talk about? I don't think so. Um, no, just thank you, Barbo, for your help today. And thank you, Cass, for your help. And sourcing the materials sorry if that was a bit noisy um yeah nothing else to say really apart from uh, let's dive into this right we're back in our uh, our usual position something a bit more familiar um let's move this out of the way a second so you can see the calendar yeah let's open it up so i think yesterday we we had this, um, the, but we did the bonnet, didn't we? Let's put the light up there. Yeah, we did that bonnet. So, um, we're hoping for another panel, I think, today, aren't we? Well, I am, anyway. <laughs> so, number 18. There we go, right at the bottom. Let's dig in. And then I'll zoom you in. Yeah, it... So looks like the right sort of shape for a panel so that's good and oops oh yeah that's right there we go a pack of screws again be good if they did an extra one for uh, the one that wasn't right yesterday so we have a panel there we go what are we doing today we are doing We are doing oh we're doing the roof so let's put this down on the floor let's bring the car back into the equation see that yes frosted screwdriver a festive frosted festive frosted <laughs> no, give up Damon um, yeah we're going on the roof with this then I think oops I think it goes on like that so, I'll zoom you in and um, I'll do that. Right, so there we go. Got you zoomed in. There's the, uh, are you going to focus or not? Let's give it some contrast. Focus, focus, focus. Yeah, there we go. So that's it. There's four, four holes on it. Um, for the screws and it's just a straightforward four score four screws screwing it down on top of the on top of the um, roll cage now the screws there's a little bit of a space behind the hole there that goes to the back I think yeah that goes to the back so um, the ones that are closer to the the edge that's for the front so if you're watching the fan you did do it the wrong way around so as you're looking at the um, the car, the white splodge, that white splodge goes on the, you are in England, of course you are, yeah, <laughs> goes on the driver's side. <laughs> if 
you're in America, it goes, oh, actually, no, because the driver's side is, this is an American type car, I think. Um, yeah, the steering wheel is on the left on this one. Obviously, in the UK, we're on the right. So, uh, yeah, so if you're looking at it that way, it's on the passenger side, the white splodge. Okay. So, uh, right, that's in place. Let's get these screws out. And I'm rambling like I, I always do when I'm tired. There they go. Um, Jan, I think it was, said uh, to use a magnet to stop me losing these tiny screws. Good idea, Jan. I'm obviously not following your advice, but <laughs> it's a good idea. Actually, I might have a magnet in here somewhere. I think we got some on the fridge though. I've got some fridge magnets that you could use. And uh, it's not a bad idea because they are very small. Come on. There we go. Is that all lining up? Oh yeah, it is. Doesn't look like that side goes forward enough. But the other holes are lining up, so it should be all right. Yeah, so what are you all doing this weekend? Is it a mad, mad dash around the shops? Or if you're in tier three, is it um, last minute orders online? I think we're pretty much done now, actually. We had a um, big splurge, I think, on the internet. Oh, no, it's the lights that are sitting too far forward, I think. Didn't realise they actually moved. There we go. Oh, we got lots of colour in it now. So I think we're having those two panels in the next couple of days, I would imagine. And... Uh, I think this this part is actually built apart from attaching this to it. So um, yeah, this doesn't need anything else apart from that and obviously the batteries and the battery cover. So I imagine those are going to be the last bits. And um, the very last bit is obviously the controller and the batteries. So uh, um, yeah, that looks very cool, doesn't it? Move the light around. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. I like the blue, I like all the marbly sort of effect on it. Looks very good. <laughs> I would actually like to take this down the field, but um, no, I can't. I've got to auction it off, I'm not allowed to keep it. <laughs> right, let's stick that back on there a minute. And then go in and have a, a nice cup, I think. Deserve it after the day we've had. So is anybody else getting them? Um, if you order if you order something online, are your delivery driver is just dumping it on the front doorstep and, and driving off. Because we've had that a few times, three times recently. And uh Yes, because our, our front door is in full view of the road. Uh, um, yeah, so it's not good. I'll have to put a note on the front door. Right, that's done. That's that's all all done. So uh, yeah, that's really looking like a car now, isn't it? How cool is that? This is all coming out of an advent calendar. It's just unreal, isn't it? I think we're waiting for a, a cover and the batteries and the cover for that as well. Uh, uh, God, when I was younger, when I was a kid, we used to get the advent calendars with chocolates and things in. Um, but you can get anything as an advent calendar now. Uh, you can get bottles of wine, bottles of beer, um, socks. Hey, you can get anything as an advent calendar these days, makeup and stuff, um, anything. Right, let's zoom you back out, sign off and go and get a cuppa. 
Right, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to me rambling. Um, I do ramble when I'm tired. My mouth just works and <laughs> my brain doesn't. So uh, sorry about that. Uh, let's just put this back into number 18. I remember. There we go. I reckon that's really cool. I, I'm actually loving that. Yeah, I'm absolutely loving that. I'm kind of sorry it's coming to an end, really. <laughs> Uh, it's a shame you can't do these advent calendars through the year. Well, I suppose you could. You've just got to pick yourself a... Um, oh! Self-centering tyres as well. That's cool. Uh, right, I'm going to stop playing. I'm going to stop rambling. And I'm going to leave this for today. Hopefully I will be a little bit more with it tomorrow. Um, if it's daylight, I might show you the... Well, actually, I might just film a little bit of... Um, Maybe. I do, if I've got time, I'll, I'll film a little bit of me making the hats. Um, I've got to work out how to use Jen's sewing machine. So, uh, yeah, I don't think I've used that one before. So if I can't get on with that, it'll be, all be hand-sewn. I can actually do hand-sewing. Uh, uh, yes, right. I'll stop rambling. <laughs> See you tomorrow, guys. Bye. Good night. <laughs>